Alrighty, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you and explain the difference between pages and posts. So in its most simplest form, a page is, you can refer to as your home page. Uh, it might be a content page. So this is the home page. Uh, a page may be a content page that you have, a contact page, the donate page, any of these are set up as pages. Okay, the other form of a page, which is actually called a post, which is a blog post. So um, on this particular theme, we have down the bottom here, so these are blog posts, okay? And the way I've set this site up is the most three most current blog posts will appear on the front page here. So when we click on them, so this is an actual post, okay? And it's just the layout's a little bit different. Uh, we are going to customize this a little bit more, um, but this is, this is a post, okay? So, as I mentioned, we are going to go and customize this a little bit more when we go when we start doing the blogs. But I just wanted to explain the difference between a blog and a post and a page. Okay, so now we know those two things. Let's jump in and um, let's set up a new page and let's set up a new post. So when you want to create a new page, come to on the left hand side here, pages. You can just click on pages. You can go directly to new page if you were going to set a new one up. Um, and let's just let's go and set a new one up. So let's just say test page So this is where you're going to name your page. So wherever you name it here, that's what it's going to appear as um, In the previous window uh, You can change it. Don't stress about when you put it into the menu system uh, You can change it to whatever you need then so you can change you, you can go ahead and change this so in this back end of uh, WordPress, have a couple of different options when you're setting up a page. So you name your page up there. Uh, just so you know, this, this text editor is like the default WordPress text editor. So if we didn't have this awesome page builder, like Beaver Builder, um, that's where you will be trying to do the majority of your work is um, in, this little, in this little box here. Uh, so I'm just going to explain all the different things um, on. So if you were creating a page that you were working on that you didn't want to actually make it go live, uh, you can save it up here as a draft and then it's just going to appear in that previous menu as well. Um, then if you want to preview what's going on on this page, there's going to be nothing on it, but that's how you would do that. Um, like I mentioned, the most Majority of the work that we're going to be doing once we kind of once you develop and set up a new page, it's all on the front end with Beaver Builder. Um, so if you wanted to publish that page, that's how you would do it. Now keep in mind when you publish a page that you still have to assign it somewhere, and that's the big difference between a blog and um, a, a post and a page. Is when you uh, post when you publish a post. It's going to go directly into your um, wherever you've set your blog up. So even though you know you can publish that page in the back end, uh, it's it's not going to go anywhere until you assign it somewhere. Um, so here is where you could go ahead and the page attributes is where you could kind of set like a template. Um, but we're not going to be using this. Um, I I never ever use it. So you can kind of close it up. And then we have some asterisk settings. So we have some settings for the theme. So this is where if you wanted to go ahead and create a page with a sidebar, this is where you can kind of set that sidebar to appear. Um, and if you wanted to, at the moment, the default is all these pages are going to be full width pages. So they're going to go the entire span of the website. Uh, if you didn't want that, you can go boxed or um, content boxed. So again, all this is kind of controlled with Beaver Builder. Um, disable sections. Uh, so if you wanted to, if you were making a page and you didn't want the header to be uh, to be displayed, you can kind of just tick that to disable the header and the titles and some uh, the display, the feature image. Now the feature image is used for a couple of reasons. Um, 
particularly when you're sharing it out onto social media, you can go ahead and set your feature image there. And we'll talk about that more when we when we set up the uh, SEO side of things. So, cause you can do it here, but you can also do it with inside Yoast. So that's pretty much it for the back end um, for the pages. Um, so once you've kind of created it and then you are ready to actually, well, once you kind of set it up, I guess, well, that's not gonna, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, cause I published it. Um, I thought it was just gonna wipe again, but it's because it published. So once you've set this up in the back end and really other than naming the page, that's basically all you really need to do. I just wanted to show you guys the rest of the things. Um, I, like I said, I, I never really use them. So um, once you've named your page and published it, you can just go to page builder and then you can start building out your awesome pages. So that's that for um, pages. And we'll just have a quick run through the posts. Very similar, click on posts. We already have some uh, demo posts in here. You can, um, let me show you a couple other things, sorry. Um, this, this is the same as the page, uh, the pages. So you can, like I mentioned, you can edit and you can delete your pages here. You can view it. You can go directly to that page builder, to Beaver Builder. And then I've added a theme, uh, added a plugin here. So you can duplicate these pages. So if you wanna just duplicate the whole page or blog, uh, you can just go duplicate this and it will just appear right here. So it's just gonna appear here and it'll be the draft there. So um, if that's if you wanted to, well, I would suggest when you guys are playing around and trying to get used to it, to use that feature, go ahead and duplicate it. Um, so you have that. So if you were going to uh, add a new, we can just say test blog. Okay, now, we will dive into this in a lot more detail. I just wanted to show you the back end again. Um, test blog again, I can publish that. Now that is, mm, that should go to the home page at the front. So yep, there it goes. So that's what I mean. Like if you need to make sure that you've set up the featured image properly and we do all that kind of stuff. So, um, and I'll show you that when we get into doing these blogs. Uh, very similar thing, you know, you can preview. There's really nothing here. And this is where we can change um, how we're gonna lay out our blog. So, um, yeah. And again, SEO, uh, for Yoast SEO, we will be making sure that we set all these up properly before sharing these blogs and publishing them. Uh, we can set up tags, so that's a little different. We can set up tags, so if someone wants to come and search all your blogs, they can come and search them there. And then again, we have the sidebar settings and all that kind of stuff. But we can also set this up within um, when we set our blogs blog up. So don't stress too much about that. Just wanted to share the difference between a post and a page. So I hope that kind of clear things up. And um, I'll see you in the next video.